in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how you can make your own pub we call it akamu so but before we dive into this video don't forget to subscribe like share and let's get to the video so guys right about now i'm about to wash and i'm already washing my corn so i'm using the red corn you can use the white corn guinea corn you can use what they call dawa you can use what they call joro but in this video i am going to be using only the red corn to make these accounts so first of all i'm going to wash this corn very very well i'm going to wash it properly to remove all the dirt from the corn because i bought this corn from the market and you know guys when you get stuff from the market it comes with a lot of dirty stones dust so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it properly. I wash it till it gets clean, till my water turns white. So you can choose to wash it two times, three times, four, five. It all depends on the dirt containing your corn. So guys, as you can see, my red corn is as clean as, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm going to go ahead and store this red corn in my packing store, then wash it out the next day. Then, So guys, it is the next day and you can see how the red corn is being seen. There is some kind of a foam on the top of the water, which I'm going to properly wash again and again until when it turns clean then keep it and store it for the next day so i'm gonna repeat this process for three days or four it all depends on the temperature of your house yeah. So guys, I am actually taking my time to wash this red corn because I don't want my pap to have the salad taste. So I realized that if you don't wash it properly, it um, end up having this sour taste which you wouldn't like anytime you're making your akam. So I want its taste as natural as possible. Guys, this is the third day and this is how my red corn looks like. So I'll go ahead and wash it out properly again, blend it, then we continue from where we stopped. So it's properly washed and blended off camera. So I'm going to, you know, sieve it. Here is the blended account, that's the corn and here is my um sheep clothes and this is the water i'm gonna be using to save it so let's get started first of all what you need to do is that you need water the shift clothes and the rubber which you'll be using to save the domo akara inside uh, akamu inside and the akamu itself so this is actually called blended corn and uh, but we call it akam <laughs> in this part of the world <laughs> so i'm gonna go show you guys how you are going to you know save your pap into that rubber thing 
So continue watching guys. So guys, before you start um, saving your pap, you have to make sure you stir it properly. Then you use your hands to sieve it. You need hands to sieve this. It's not something you use spoon, that is something you use brook, or you use wooden spoon. <laughs> no. So as you're saving, you're adding your water to it so as to remove all the mm, nutritious I come from this blended corn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Then after doing this, for you to know that your corn is ready that's your akamu is ready you will save it and you start feeling some kind of chaff so that's when you're gonna rinse it and remove the chaff from the akamu then save the other ones so that's how you know the akamu is ready So I'm going to add more water and this is going to be the last water I'll be adding then remove this turf and save the other ones it's as simple as ABCD this is very nutritious if you're a lover of custard if you're a lover of cornstarch this is actually how to do it and believe me you this goes a long way with Akara <laughs> moi moi plantain it serves as nigerian breakfast and you are going to love it <laughs> guys here I believe I have removed everything I need from this blended corn and I'm going to go ahead and throw away this chaff guys you can use this chaff as corn flour you can make it just the way they need simo but you have to blend it you have to first of all dry it blend it allow it to dry then sieve it you can actually use it for your normal swallow but in this video, I'll be trashing this out because I don't have that strength to start <laughs> blending and drying. Uh, guys, if you have watched up to this extent, please do me a huge favor by subscribing to this channel. It's a very young channel and this channel is going to bring forth so many things you guys are expected to watch this channel. So I'm going to make sure that I bring something that is entertaining to, on this channel. I have my other channel which is Belinda Strenad which I only do DIYs but here on this channel I cook more food I go out for vlogs I also do food vlogs reviews restaurants reviews you know trying out street food and all that and there is a lot coming on, on this channel and I'm dedicating this channel to my two kids, which is Bastian and Charlotte. So guys, subscribe.
So guys, our pub is ready and this is the outcome. I'm just gonna go ahead and charge this. Then transfer this inside another cloth for this water to strain. Then we'll have our Akam ready. So lovely, I left the Akam to stay for about four hours before removing the water from the pump. So now I'm gonna transfer this pump into this cloth for it to sit properly. Then it will help us to get the consistency of what we need which is the real pop, corn I don't know what to call it what is that called? so guys it's the next day now and <laughs> this is what we have our pop is ready it came out so nice so I'm gonna use it for breakfast and all that subscribe like and I'll see you on my next video